Welcome to Hangman Tarot. We're going to get into our celebrity tarot card reading, but first please hit subscribe to Hangman Tarot when you do this. Click the bell so you don't miss any of my notifications. My name is Jordan. I am Hangman Tarot. We're going to get started here with Haley Steinfeld. Um, she's an actress, I believe. Um, I haven't really read much about her. I have not watched her in anything that I'm aware of. I didn't recognize her, but the request and the person who requested this is La Aya. She's a request. A subscriber of mine so thank you for your request i'm going to get started right away so we're just going to get straight into these readings um as soon as we're at the end of the video though i'm going to go over everything that you need to know about the video and any facts or information that'll all be at the end so stay tuned for any of those things all right we're gonna get started i don't know why i don't know why i do the things i do all right so we're going to find out first about the celebrity. We're going to find a little bit about the celebrity information, zodiac sign, whatever we can currently kind of the energy that they're in or residing in, as well as anything that is past, present, upcoming obstacles, challenges, experiences that are happening to her, how they feel about themselves, how we feel about them. So I like to see the differences in between those two as well as a likely outcome for this person or how they're moving forward um, with the energy that they are kind of carrying and moving into something. Hopefully they're, hopefully this is coming into something. Okay. First, let me go into the celebrity really quickly. Birth chart, December 11th. She was born at 1996 at five o'clock and 26 minutes at PM. Um, she's a sun sign, Sagittarius, moon sign, Capricorn. Ascending, excuse me, my throat is drying up. Mm. Ascending is cancer. <laughs> Jesus, I cannot get through a video. Cancer is ascending. Okay, okay. Capricorn moon. Ooh, we. All right. So she is. She's an American actress. She rose to fame in her portrayal of Maddie Rose in the 2010 film True Grit, for which she was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress and a BAFTA Award for the Best Actress in the Leading Role. Um, let's just get started. We'll get into it. Now, however the cards come out, they come out. I do not... I don't manipulate them. I don't move them around. I can't not, not say things either. So if it happens to be that she's in a relationship and you guys are unaware of this relationship, that's just where the cards are. Now, this could be something that is previous. This could be something current. And that's just not something that she's talking about. And she's aware of it, but we're not aware of it. Or this could be something upcoming. So if anything like that kind of pops up, I had a little bit of confusion in my last reading about that. So I kind of just wanted to make sure that you all knew that. We're going to get started. All right, we've got the High Priestess that is upright, Ace of Swords that's in a reverse, as well as our Ten of Cups that is in a reverse also. Coming to some completion, coming to the ending of something, to the ending of a cycle within maybe some kind of a relationship that she was dealing with, something that was emotional, and she had a shift of perception maybe, maybe just... A, started looking at things in a different way and it is bringing her slowly but surely from you know a place of understanding and new beginnings with this person they were able to communicate they had a very clear line between the two of them that they knew how to talk back and forth they knew how to love back and forth they knew what was going on okay um but that is that is definitely coming to an end if it hasn't come to an end already yeah, that's the ending of a cycle. It was very much resisted, though. It's still being resisted. So this person that she was with currently or that was with her in the past or that something that just she kind of fell out of and she keeps going, kind of going back and forth. So even if she's not physically in the relationship, she could energetically still be drawn back into that relationship, her her and this other person. OK, so Queen of, Queen of Swords energy for sure. So her person was an air sign. And I say was because I just feel like this is not something that she's currently involved in. I do, however, feel like it's like a back and forth type of um, relationship. And if it's not back and forth physically, again, it's just that energetic 
um, back and forth or, you know, just really tied closely. Soul high, uh, karmic high, however you want to look at it. And what brought her into this decision was that the relationship, there was like a really amazing balance and cooperation within this relationship. I think I said that wrong. I don't even know. <laughs> like, I think I said this wrong. Um, <laughs> she's very intuitive. So she knows when things are coming to an end. She knows when she needs to do specific things. She's very much guided by an inner voice or an inner guru, but she's very much nurturing of who she is. And she's very loving and connected to her own inner self. So this is something that, yes, there was a resistance because of the understanding. The understanding wasn't there anymore between the two of them. And um, so she had to, you know, they had to end things. I mean, really, it was coming to a completion, but that was in reverse. So it's just lagging a little bit of energy, which makes me think it's like a back and forth thing with the two of them. Okay. And again, that was an air sign, somebody who she's dealing with currently or just previously. I'm going to get an Oracle card so that we can confirm tarot. Okay. Okay. The energy that's kind of wreaking havoc around her is just patience or lack of patience. Um, it did come in reverse. So it's just like, so again, some kind of a contract, um, some kind of conflict that's come with it or some kind of loss. Um, there was a lot of challenge and change within this. So she might've had a contract with somebody or someone around her, but there was definitely, I think it was judgment. I'm sorry, that just dawned on me. I just feel like somebody is being very judgmental in this relationship. And I feel like that's why it kind of came into a place of no understanding and impatience, okay? So I just feel like somebody was misunderstood. Somebody was judged harshly. However, that resonates. They're just, the balance was not there. And, you know, she just didn't have the patience for it. Or again, vice versa, they might not have had the patience for it. It definitely brought conflict within her life. And with, with that, though, came change and it came growth. So she was learning and is learning from this relationship or is still learning from it. I, I, forever, she'll probably bring it with her and utilize it on what to do and what not to do. Okay. Backwards. All right. Let's find out. Okay. Okay. So presently, she does have some prospects. She does have some people... Um, or some things going on within her life where she probably could have her choice of whatever she wanted. A lot of stability, a lot of safety within these choices as well. Yeah, it's just a sense of security when she's dealing with this kind of stuff. Okay. Okay. So this person who is around her right now, this is a current one. So currently she is around somebody. Um, we got Page of Pentacles. So it's just giving, it's giving off youth. It's giving off young. So it's probably 30 and younger for me. Um, and this is a prospect. So this is a choice. This is somebody that she could have her, she could choose or she could choose something else. And that hasn't come up yet. Um, what that might be in a different zodiac sign, but she does have prospects. So people are interested in her and she's interested in people, which is a plus. Um, the only issue with this situation is that this person is extremely isolated. They're very much go on the inside. They're introvert and she might be more or less than an, she's not as much an introvert. So she's not, she's not, it's not that it's like a huge, huge challenge, but this person isolates. They, they cut themselves off. They could even, you know, get depressed. They could, excuse me, my mouth is so dry. This reading is just taking it out of me. I'm exhausted. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It just, it screams like lonely or some sort of, she knows she'd be lonely. She knows she'd be alone if she dealt with this person because, again, this person kind of closes off and hides away. And then they come back out, but then they go away again. So whomever she's dealing with this pentacle or this earth element, um, I mean, yeah. I mean, he, this person just doesn't um, 
isn't always out there and they might not even be, you know, open for a relationship. They might be closed off. But again, it is a prospect though. It is somebody that she is, you know, trying to choose from. We got upcoming um, situation going on as far as Haley's upcoming predictions. What the universe would like us to know about those upcoming. All right, got strength that is upright, queen of pentacles that is in reverse, three swords that's in reverse also. Okay, so this is the prospect that she's going to choose, the pentacles, okay? Very youthful. Again, this person is younger than 30, most likely. Um, they do have a stability about them, but yet when she starts dating them, it's going to go kaput, okay? So this person will get very unsupportive. And this is just confirming that reverse hermit card. This person is going to be very unsupportive and almost like they're not going to care about the relationship once they're in the relationship. And it's going to take a lot of strength for her to be in the relationship, let alone have to walk right out of the relationship because of the situation that will come up. And it will come up and it will be straight away, you know, just maybe a few months into this relationship, but it'll be, it'll feel like heartbreak. It'll three swords. It'll definitely be something that'll need it need to be mended, but the growth or the change or the shift or trans, you know, to anything that could like slightly shift or change in this relationship, that will definitely be delayed because this relationship will be cut off because this person is going to get into a place where they're just very passive, very inside themselves, almost coming off selfish to her. So that is an upcoming issue. So again, this person that she's going to be dealing with and probably is already dealing with this person or just thinking about maybe dating them. Um, that person is very much an introvert. They got a lot of great qualities, though. They have a lot of stability and ambition. And when they're on their um, best behavior, they're stable. They're safe. OK, so that's just something that she was recognizing. That's something she was very attracted to. But again, this earth sign is going to flip it you know, and get into a place where they just could give a shit less about the situation. And they're very attracted to each other. She's specifically attracted to this person. Okay. So how she feels about herself currently, how she feels, how she vibes her own self. Um, She feels like she's misunderstood. She feels like you know, like misinterpreted. She feels as if she's, you know, people are misinformed about her. They don't see her as like what she would like them to see her as. So they, she doesn't really think that we or the public or her fans actually know who she is. They just feel, you know what I mean? And mm, Ace of Pentacles, that's all right. Let's get one more card. Okay. So this is that new beginning, earth sign, pentacles again, definitely some growth here. She def most definitely could be vibing that, even bringing that energy out as far as this relationship, this earth sign. This is something that is being brought up because she's in the beginning stages of it. And she, this is what's being indicated from her cards. She could even have a new beginning with a new job. She could have something going on as far as her financials. Anything to do with um, manifesting or bringing out a sense of safety or self, anything self-made or self-done. Um, the material world, she's very much in the beginning stages of something. And this is also bringing about that earth element. It's all kind of mingling together. Let's get one more card for her. The cards are like, we're not doing it. We're not doing it. <laughs> Girl. God, that took forever. King of Swords, that's in reverse. Seven of Cups. Oh, here comes that. Girl, honey, boo job. Okay. So she's aware that she's not with the person anymore that she current or recently was with. So the sword sign, the air sign, is somebody that she was already dealing with. So she's very much in a place of knowing that that's over. That, that, that kind of stuff cannot continue with her. Um, this person cannot move forward with her and her change and her growth because she's already dealing with somebody. She's already trying to start a new beginning or pick or choose, but she could even be, you know, trying to make a choice between the two of them. I don't know how that's all happening or if this is happening. Again, this is just the cards are bringing a lot of this up. How the world sees her. 
Okay. The world sees her as kind of ideal as far as an actress, maybe, or a female, or just like maybe a friend or, you know, whatever part she's playing in certain movies, or they just, she's very ideal for the role that she's playing for society, for the world. I don't know why this keeps coming up in my head, but delusional. Again, I don't know who this actress is. I don't know what's going on, but some of you think she's delusional. She maybe makes things up in her head. She just kind of goes off fantasy versus logic. Maybe she's just like a little much of an airhead. I don't really know. But her thoughts, you seem to think that they're diluted or they're thinner than they should be. She's not seeing things quite clearly is, you know, what you're thinking. Deceitful. Get one more card. Okay. Again, y'all think she knows better about something. Y'all think she has a knowing. She has a knowledge. She knows that she shouldn't be doing something or she shouldn't be doing this or that, whatever it is. Y'all think she should not be doing something. And this could have something to do with this person that she was dealing with or the possible choices that she has. So there's a few storylines here. Again, this is just how this resonates. Y'all know her, especially the ones that like her and want to listen to this reading. You would know what I'm talking about more than anybody. So let me know in the comments if you want. Okay. So the judgment stuff is coming back up. The, the harshly judged person, that energy, it's coming back up. So it's almost like a blamer alert. Like she's blaming everybody else or you guys are blaming her. But it feels like to me, she feels like you all see her in such a different way that we actually do. We are harshly judging her. That's how it's coming around. This is how it's coming around. We see deceit, we see delusion. We see a lot of things that are not as stable as we'd like them to be. And for some reason we're judging that, the world, the fans. And that might not be the case for every single fan, but there's some, there's always the groups that feel this way, okay? Let's find out a likely outcome, like what's, future action, future energy, movement, forever movement, forever change. Where are we headed here? Eight of Swords upright. In reverse, we have our Justice card. Okay. So likely, likely outcome is just a lot of anxiety coming with the situation that is at hand here. So no, this is not in the news. This may not be in the blogs or online or wherever it's at, but it is happening. Something is happening. It could even be just a triage between something and something. But this is what the cards are indicating to me. And this is just very, very detailed, which I don't know why. It's a really long reading. I'm like, what is going on? Okay. So there is plans for a relationship here. And with this air sign or with the sword sign, it keeps bringing back that heartbreak, keeps bringing back all the anxiety and the things that you know, are coming with even just like a new breakup. It's just like very, very raw. She's coming up very raw. And it's almost like the truth will never come out and there won't be any balance for her. So a likely outcome is she's going to have to deal with that and just get into a place where she can really get into planning some sort of new adventure, or like, you know, invite this other person and, and be open to love with this other person instead of this one. That air sign really keeps trying to come back though. That's all I'm saying. Okay. And again, the moon, and it's just like, I feel like there's a lot of things that are hidden in the dark that y'all don't know because the moon is keeps being progressively keeps coming up in the cards here. Just kind of like, Hey, show the light. There is a light. There is a light. There is a truth to each side of story. And so if there's something going on with her that people are questioning, here we are. If that's what this is, that's what it feels like to me. I'm not quite sure it got into, it got out of hand. This reading <laughs> got out of hand. I don't know what's going on, but I feel like I've been here for two days straight telling you all this story. How long has it been? <laughs> 20 minutes. <laughs> okay. All right. Please hit subscribe to Hangman Tarot. If you would, please and thank you. Click the bell so you don't miss any of my notifications here at Hangman Tarot, as well as share, like, and follow on all your social media and go check out my social media platform in the description box. Go check it out, the details. And if you want to know any information, 
it's all going to be in that detail box okay and if you would like to request a celebrity please go ahead and leave a comment or hit me up in my dms i don't care you can email me it don't matter all the information's in the detail box all right please other than that have a beautiful beautiful sunday evening